Welcome to Inside View. I am your host, Joel Metzger. And joining me on this show is Michael Oliveira, who was recently elected as the District 3 Calaveras County Supervisor. Welcome. Thank you, Joel. Nice seeing you again. Very nice to have you on. I know we had a chance to speak uh, during the election, uh, during the campaign, and uh, you had a very hard-fought race and, and uh, pulled off a victory. And uh, congratulations for, uh, for winning. Uh, I know you, you have many goals and aspirations, and uh, we'll get into those uh, in a minute. But for those who don't know the geographic location of District 3, what is the area that you represent in the county? District 3 runs along the Highway 4 corridor from about Balacitos all the way to the Alpine County line. Um, it is takes somewhat of a jog on the north side of Balacitos on Highway 4, but it kind of picks up around Douglas Flat, south of the area of Douglas Flat all the way to the county line. So you have the, the town of Murphy's in your district, and, right. uh, and then Forest Meadows, Arnold, Avery, and then and way up the hill. A uh, really beautiful part of the county uh, must be neat to live and represent that area. That's one of the reasons I decided to move up here and, and take, take a, a long interest in our, in our county, a very dedicated interest, uh, service with public safety, and now as a supervisor. So for those who haven't had the chance to get to know you or meet you on the campaign trail, would you give us a, a little introduction of uh, where you came from, where you grew up, and then how you found yourself in Calaveras? Well, we'll, we'll make this short. Okay. Uh, basically, I was born in Massachusetts, moved to the Bay Area at age five. Attended the elementary schools in the Bay Area, Hayward, San Leandro area. Attended high school in Redding, California. And the very night I graduated, I came back to the Bay Area. Uh, as a result of moving back to the Bay Area, and, and back in those times, I'm going to date myself now, uh, I enlisted in the Marine Corps during uh, the Vietnam era and served there. Uh, I actually uh, attended law enforcement and entered law enforcement after my release from the Marine Corps, my discharge, and worked with the San Leandro Police Department and with the Oakland Police Department, which I retired. Uh, I spent 10 years in the private sector as a corporate safety director for a large general engineering company in the Bay Area called the Silver Gates Construction. And moved up here, actually purchased our home up here in 2002 in Arnold in Blue Lake Springs. And we moved up here permanently and actually joined the Sheriff's Department up here as an extra hire and reserve officer in 2007. Uh, one, of the, one of the saddest days of my life was Resigning from law enforcement, but the very next day I became a supervisor, so there's always good and bad. Right, right. What was it that uh, attracted you to Calaveras County? Forest, the people, the land, the lakes, the water, mm -hmm. the slow pace of life compared to what was in the Bay Area. Um, I had to equate that to my law enforcement experience because in the Bay Area it was go, 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 go. Up here we had time to really do good police work and meet the people. Right. Uh, and that was very important, very important in making my decisions to permanently move up here and run for office. Yeah, and speaking of running for office, you know, that's no small decision in anyone's life. And, and as I said during the election, I campaign or I, I, I um, compliment anyone who takes the time out of their life to run a campaign and throw their hat in the ring to be a, a public servant. So what, what was the combination of factors that led you to go from concerned citizen to, hey, I wanna, I wanna go and make a difference there, so I'm gonna run for office? I have to be very truthful about this. Community involvement, community support. It took about a year to make this decision. Uh, it was continued 